Hello everyone, this is Hey Rotlinia. Welcome back to my playthrough of Dragon Quest VI Realms of Revelation for the DS. Previously, the party returned the mermaid Unda to her home and were rewarded with Lorelei's harp. That will allow us to explore under the sea in the real world. Lorelei's harp. I hope Unda and the other mermaids live happily ever after and everything like that. If we're ever in doubt as to what we should do next, we should pay Madame Luca a visit. She's sure to put us on the right track. Surely there must be some places in this wide world that we've yet to explore. Indeed, Nevin. Hey, where to next, Hayrot? I'll follow you anywhere. Lead the way. The sea's so huge. Where do you start? Old Amos is never sure what to do at times like these. Yes, the world really opens up now. But we'll start with some undersea exploration. Starting here at the Mermaid Reef. We play the harp. The mermaid's power encases the ship in a giant bubble. And we get taken under the sea. Hey, hey, Rot. Uh, how long do you think this air bubble's gonna hold up? It's just that I don't plan on drowning today, you, know, you see. Where are we now, Hayrot? Hey, Hayrot. Uh, this bubble is toothproof, I. It ain't gonna pop one or nothing. It's just that I don't plan on drowning today, you see. It just occurred to me. Do you think we're the only people wandering the ocean floor? No, no. That can't be. There is no shortage of folks down here. The sea's even bigger than I thought. We should keep an eye on our map. As expected, it's rather chilly down here. Are you not cold, Hayrot? Old Amos is feeling a tad seasick, even down here. We know so little about what's just under the surface of the sea. It blows your mind, doesn't it? The Pescado villagers were right, huh? There's nary a fish scale nor tail anywhere down here. The beasties on the ocean's bed are no pushover. We let our guard down for a second, and they could clobber us. Ah, uh, what have we here? Right under the mermaid's reef. The mermaids must live under them craggy little rocks up there, I eh? Wonder where the mermen are hiding themselves. I always figured mermaids would be pretty, but... Wow! My eyeballs are in shock! And this place is... The Mermaid's Domain! Here we're safe and happy. Here is where we'll stay. The sea where Unda went, we must never ever stray. Oh, really? They say that place is home to an evil, evil mage. Aha! Who loves to invoke terror, horror, fear, and rage? I'd love for this mage to meet my fist. Sounds like someone we should take care of, eh? We were told not to stray there, but you just know we're going to go anyway. Aren't we, like, really far from Pescado? Rod really bucked the odds running into her. Tee-hee-hee! <laughs> These mermaids are lookers, all right. Yeah, just don't swim out there. 
She ain't so skittish around us now, I. Hee hee. Hee hee hee. Far to the southeast, you will find Poseidon's Keep. Poseidon, huh? A majestic, wondrous palace built by the King of the Deep. I always figured mermaids would be pretty. Do you like the ocean? It's where I want to be. There is certainly no better place than down beneath the sea. You don't think the air in this bubble could run out, do you? She's rhyming the truth. I wonder if the fishies feel the same way. Do I like the ocean? The jury's still out on that one. It's just a whole new world down here. Yes, a whole new world. We'll check out to the southwest then. And we encounter a couple of pot shots. They won't have much of a chance to take pot shots at us. Burn, buddies! Pot shots go boom! And what have we here? This place is, ooh, Rubus's Palace. That's a familiar name in Dragon Quest lore. Nothing to find, I see. Hey, Arat, I knew that you and your companions would eventually come. My name is Rubus. It is my duty to watch over and protect this world. Hello, Rubus. Did you hear my voice calling out to you? Uh, sure. Hey, Arot, you are born onto this world with a destiny like no other. The fate of the world depends on the success of your journey. Go, my child. Venture forth and discover your true destiny. Travel to every corner of the world, and the path you must take will surely be revealed to you. I will always be watching over you and your companions, my child. Rubus feels so warm to me, almost like my own mother. Watching over us, I? What, like the goddess and everything like that? Now that I think about it, could she be that voice we've been hearing off and on? Blimey, Rubus is a looker, all right. I think I'll go out and switch my party a little. Nevin and Millie. The island where you fought Murdaugh has been home to countless evils over the ages. Perhaps there is some sort of presence there that attracts the powers of darkness. It was for that reason that I once took the precaution of creating a certain ocarina. I am delighted to see that it has seen I am delighted to see that it seems to have proved its worth. She's got that right. We never would have reached that island without the ocarina. We owe her big time, I. Indeed, the evil that I sensed on that island was anything but ordinary. We shall prevail over the forces of darkness. I can sense a great evil drawing breath somewhere in this world. Go, my child. Venture forth and discover your true destiny. 
travel to every corner of the world, and the path you must take will surely be revealed to you. I will always be watching over you and your companions, my child. Hey, that evil's as good as gone with us on the job. Let us shed light on the world's dark mysteries. Come on, Herot. Let's do as Rubus says and get to exploring this world. Yes, indeed. Time for some exploration. Now previously, there were reefs blocking our exit to the Outer Sea. But we can now use Lorelei's Harp to pass underneath them. The way is clear down here. And we encounter pot shots, a perky pelican, and a plated gortus. Bring on some thin air and lightning. Foolish plated Gortus. Bye bye, enemies. Herot reaches the rank of Philosopher. Learning Tidal Wave. And Summon. Congrats, Herot. The Sage Rank of Philosopher, Rank 4. Now with Tidal Wave and Summon. Now we'll continue south and try to find Poseidon's Palace. We have Pot Shots and Fend Fatales. Bring an end to them, party! One lone survivor. Goodbye, enemies. And Nevin reaches level twenty nine. In addition, Ashland reaches level 26. Congrats on level 29, Nevin. And Ashlyn, congrats on level 26. We now continue south. And encounter some poison eels. Goodbye, Poison Eveals. Next up, a trio of Poison Eveals. No match for the power of thin air and lightning. Bye bye, enemies.
now we'll enter the sea. And we encounter some crazies, a fend fatale. Bring down the lightning under the sea. We are dancing, Carver. That won't trouble me any. More hustle dance. Truly a nice move. More thin air. Blow them away. Goodbye, foes. Alrighty. Now we have this palace here in the Southeast Sea. And this place would be Poseidon's Palace. Any treasures? There is one. That waterfall is quite something. You can feel the spray from over here. This underwater waterfall is breathtaking. Crikey, that waterfall makes one and a more look like a slow drip. Some world we live in, I. Yes, indeed, Carver. Plenty of stairs in this place. Ah, what's in here? Oh, a locked door. This is the royal treasure vault of King Poseidon. No loitering or littering, please. I'm ever so curious about what it's like inside. Let us not be discouraged by his words. Hardy har here and that just makes us want to poke around here all the more, I. Indeed. But once we get a key that will open it... Welcome to Poseidon's Palace. Our great king is the ruler of the deep, don't you know? Whoa, so this is a palace, I. Eh? Oh my, it's such an honor to be able to meet the king of the sea. Ah, Poseidon, legendary lord of the ocean. Well met. You are welcome at the court of Poseidon, ruler of the deep. I see in your rippling muscles and battle-hardened gaze that a rare power resides in you. Now hear my plea. East of here, a dark and demonic shrine has been built on the seabed. Without so much as a by your leave, this monstrosity was constructed in my domain. The miscreant responsible is called Grakos. Defeat him, and I shall share a secret with you. I await news of your defeat of Gracchus. King Poseidon seems incandescent with anger. If this Gracchus threatens the peace beneath the waves, he must be dealt with. Yes, indeed, Nevin. It seems Gracchus lurks to the east of here. Shall we investigate, Herot? We can't let a good king down. Let's go and take out this Gracchus guy. Yes, good idea. I can see that the depths of the ocean are not your natural habitat. It has been many a long year since humans last came to visit us here. Long ago, two wise men by the names of Isaac and Benjamin ventured down here. I wonder whatever became of them. I pray we are one day fit to rub shoulders with, my, with wise men of that caliber. Isaac 
and Benjamin. Do those names mean anything to you, Hayrot? Isaac and Benjamin, I've heard those names. They are famous sages, I believe. In the bookshelves, we find the dreamscape, Strangers at Sea. Most appropriate. And here we find a mini-medal. That puts us up to 44 mini-medals. Alrighty. So it sounds like our next story task is to defeat Grotto, is to defeat Krakos, I should say, at the Seabed Shrine. <laughs> but first, we'll be doing a whole lot more exploring of the Seabed. We have a Fend Fatale and a Pot Shot. Bye bye, enemies. Carver reaches the rank of Featherweight. He gets the ability Undead Do Undead Undoer. Amos reaches the rank of Gatherer and learns Safe Passage. Well, that is timely. Carver reaches the rank of Featherweight in Gladiator, rank 2, and learns Undead Undoer. A good attack against Undead. Amos is rank 3 in Ranger, the rank of Gatherer, and now knows Safe Passage. That will take us harmlessly over damaging terrain. Now Grakos' palace is in the southwestern sea in the world. Here are three Finned Fatales. These guys are pretty hardy, ain't they? Do the hustle! I see it also hits party members in the wagon when out in the field. Goodbye, foes. And now, Millie reaches level 30. Gawain reaches the rank of Fist of Fate. He learns multi-fists. Healy reaches the rank of Apprentice and Mage, and learns Sizz. And Dazzle. Plenty of good stuff. Millie's now level 30. Congrats, Millie. Getting ever closer to Luminary Mastery. Gawain is now a Fist of Fate, having mastered Martial Artist. And Healy is now an Apprentice Mage, rank 2. Very nice indeed. Now we have some perky pelicans. You won't be so perky when we're done with you. Goodbye, Perky Pelicans. Now distinctly unperky. And here is a location in the southwest. And we have located Tom Foolery's Shrine. 
Another recurring name in Dragon Quest. Definitely not as noble as Rubus, though. We're never short of laughs down here. That guy with no memory is loads of fun. That fellow's got no memory, but at least he's got fans. Anyone who's popular with children is a fine gentleman in my eyes. It's as if the three of them are one happy family. How are ya? You know, I have this feeling I once did a fair wee bit of traveling myself, so I do. But would you credit it? I haven't the first clue where I went or even who I was. Zip! Zilch! I have a nagging feeling. I made an important promise to someone, so I did, but I just can't seem to remember. Don't worry, your promise has been fulfilled. He doesn't appear to be the traveling merchant type. Just what could the purpose of his journey have been? A spot of amnesia, it would seem. I wonder if we could somehow jog his memory. Maybe a smack to the head'll knock his memory loose, I. Hmm. Or not. I found that poor fellow wandering aimlessly on the ocean floor. He has no memory of who he is, but his constant tomfoolery makes him a joy to be around. Now I can't imagine this place without him. He would have been sleeping with the fishes if the nun hadn't found him, I. Too bad he can't remember nothing, but that still beats being dead. He'll no doubt be keen to restore his memory and return to his hometown someday. And yet, helping the people here may also be part of his destiny. I deeply admire that nun's dedication to others. So, that is where Tom Foolery has gotten to. Now we'll zoom to switch worlds. And visit All Trades Abbey. Someone riding a certain gloopy steed is ready to change vocations. Yes, we'll change vocations for Gawain to Priest, on the way to Paladin. And that is all the vocation switching we need for now. Gawain is now a Neophyte Priest. Let's see now. Hayrot needs 33 more battles. Carver needs 18. Nevin needs 10. Millie needs 26 to master Luminary. Amos needs 28. Ashlyn needs 44. Gawain needs 19. Healy needs 14. Thank you, ma'am. And we shall stay at the inn. Thank you, ma'am. In the next episode, we'll continue our undersea exploration. This is Hey Rotlinia. I'd like to thank you for watching, and I will see you again next time.